Hello developers, today we are going to build a marker based AR solution. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can customize and use in your own projects. The marker based AR solution is an application that can detect a marker and create a semblance of an augmented reality experience. The marker can be detected and identified using the phone's camera and OpenCV library. When the marker is detected, it is then analyzed for color, size and orientation. You will also build a similar solution today. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy one click install kit gives you ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many such ready to use candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on candy. Today we'll be using a popular candy kit which is marker based AR application one click install kit. This kit is open source with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Rajeshwari for a hands-on walkthrough. Hello everyone, hope you all are excited to build your own marker based AR solution. To build this marker based AR solution kit, you will be required the following. Initially pick a development environment of a choice to develop and debug the code. And you'll be required some basic knowledge of MindAR documentation where this application is built with the help of MindAR. And we need to install A-Frame dependencies where A-Frame dependencies is an open source JavaScript library which will enable us to use inbuilt AR features. And come up with an exciting 3D models in GLTF format. Everything you need is already available in the candy kit. Let's get started by installing candy one click kit. Check the description for the link to be installable. It will navigate you to the respective Candy One Click Kit page. And here you could see this download one click installer. While hitting this button, it will set up a working sandbox application with all needed prerequisites and resources. Now we can follow this Git deployment instruction for installation process. And you could have a glance on the libraries added in the below session, which will be very helpful in exploring the application. Now take a pause on the video, complete the installation process and hit resume button. Right now we'll jump into the development of code. Great. Hope you all are set. Once you successfully completed the installation process, get the project to the respective ID. Now add all needed dependencies under this header tag. MindAR and A-Frame are the primary dependencies which are used in this application. This A-Frame dependency is a lightweight JavaScript library which enable us to use all needed AR features. Under this body tag, we can see this ASIN tag. This ASIN tag is a global root object and all entities are contained within the scene. The scene inherits from the entity class which has the ability to attach the component and helps the child node to load before rendering the scene. Now we can add the 3D models under this A asset item tag. Once we're done with that, we can initiate the camera's position. And we can add all the properties required for the 3D model under this A entity and A GLTF model tags. And this is how this application is built. Before running the application, take a printout of these two images. With these two images is going to act as a marker for this AR application. Now allow the browser to use your camera. Place the markers in front of the camera to experience augmented reality. Great. Coming to interesting part of the session, let's see how we can customize this application. We can customize this application with our own image which is going to act as a marker and 3D models. Just place the image which is going to act as a marker under this image tag and place the 3D model under this A asset item tag. Then we can add the properties required for the model under this A entity tag. Now save the application and restart the server to experience the augmented reality.
before running the application take a print out of this code which we have added in the customized application allow the browser to use camera and place the marker in front of the camera now we could see this image what we have added there Congrats, now we have your customized AR application. Hope you found this session useful. Using CandyKids is a great way to build AR engines. You can find the link to the marker-based augmented reality kit and many other ready-to-use kits in the description below. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more. Try out CandyKids now. Hit that subscribe button and join us at the OpenViewer community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects. Thank you for watching this session. Till the next one. Bye-bye.